This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I'll talk more about Squarespace later on in the video. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Vietnam Vegan. And today is a what I eat in a day, starting with some coffee. Now, I know you might be surprised, Lisa, drinking coffee again? Yes, it hasn't destroyed my body and hasn't given me heart palpitations anymore. So I'm back on the coffee. I mean, last year with the whole Dalgona phase, I have a giant thing of instant coffee granules that I need to use. So I figured what better way to use it than with delicious, delicious iced coffee. I used about like one one, I think two teaspoons coffee, two teaspoons sugar, water, soy milk for those good, good fortifications. And then for lunch, I am using up some leftover tomato puree and I'm making some SpaghettiOs. I'll link my recipe in the description down below. This is slightly modified. I use sour cream and butter instead of the bell soy creamer that I normally use for this recipe, but you know what? It's fine. It was good. It was tasty. I use the Tofutti sour cream and the Flora vegan butter. And honestly, this butter is very, very good. I will be purchasing again and again. And then uh, for protein, I decided to have these tofu feta cubes that I've been experimenting with. And of course I left them too long and they were not good. So I immediately spit out that piece that I ate and uh, composted the rest. But you know what, that's fine. I got some spaghettios. I'm having a popsicle because it's very warm upstairs and that's where my office is. Then for lunch, I was kind of busy. So I decided to have a quick avocado toast with some tofu cubes. It's like fried tofu that I got from the Mississauga Chinatown. It is the best tofu. So many people ask me what the name of the tofu place is. I don't remember. It just has a blue and yellow sign and it literally just says tofu and it's in the yeah it's in like the chinese center in mississauga very very good this was the mushroom and onion flavor and then i added some vegan butter some avocado some hemp hearts and a little salt and pep on that avocado and then some blueberries and they were very good Let's talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Some of you know that I've been streaming our D&D sessions on Twitch, although we are taking a bit of a break for July, but I did use Squarespace to make a simple and clean website with info about the players, our DM, and our overall campaign. So whether you're starting a new side hustle, your business website needs a new look, or you've got a portfolio to show off, Squarespace websites are an easy answer. It's easy to set up, you can buy your domain directly through them, and all you have to worry about is the content, while Squarespace provides ready-made templates. Get started today by going to squarespace.com slash vegan and use code vegan to get 10% off your first order. Then for dinner, I decided to, well, actually I kind of went into this dinner with zero plan. I just knew that I wanted this vegan jalua, which I also got from the Mississauga Chinese Center, the grocery store there. I think it's like A1 Premium Foods is the grocery store. But I also get this from Tan Tan in Hamilton as well. But it turns out I didn't have any of the vermicelli that I wanted to make for like spring rolls. So I had bun hai, which was very good. But in order to have bun hai, you also have to have onions. Well, green onion oil. So the green onion oil goes on top of the bun hai, which is the the rice cake sheets. I'll, I'll show you those in a second. I use both the greens and the whites of the onions. Most recipes that I see only use the greens, but I, I don't really care. I use both, but I heat up the oil on the stove and then I add the onions to the oil or you can pour it on top of the onions, whichever you like. But then to prepare bun hai, this is the pressed or like flat 
sheets of cut rice noodles, soak them in water for about 10 minutes and then I microwave them uh, for like a minute and a half ish, I think. Um, I have the full instructions on my blog down below. I never remember because I just use the blog to remember, but that is how I make them and it is very delicious. You can also steam them, but microwaving is just way, way easier. To have with the lettuce wraps, I have pickled carrots and daikon, more of the tofu, and then I cut up the jalua, which is the Vietnamese vegan sausage. Like traditionally it's made out of ham. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's wrapped in this banana leaf. You steam it to cook it and then it gets very delicious. I love this and like there's like versions of it that it's kind of like a long tube. It's kind of like a hot rod, but like wrapped in banana leaf and it's this sausage. And I used to eat it a lot as a kid. And so I was feeling nostalgic and that's what I wanted to eat. Plus it is good, good protein, but it's hard to find unless you live in like a, an area that has a high Buddhist center or community. So which is why I've been able to find it, but this was our dinner. My grandpa also gave us some greens earlier, the, uh, well, the last week, cause I wanted bun sale. So there was like a, a stint that I was eating bun sale like every single day. I'll leave a recipe down below if you want that as well, but I wanted to eat more of the greens without the bun sale. And it was very, very good. I really love bun hoi. And then he dip it in the sauce. Mm, what a good time. And that's the video. That's what I ate in a day. Um, I have a few videos lined up, so be ready for that. But I am also leaving to go to the cottage uh, this weekend. So I think I might record some stuff, but I also might not. I don't know, I've been trying to like do better at living more presently and not necessarily just like documenting everything for YouTube and or Instagram. Um, I think it's been good for my mental health, but also at the same time, I miss sharing content with you guys as much. So anyway, uh, we'll see if I have content in the cottage. Worst case scenario, I'll probably be posting stuff on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, you should probably go follow me. I hope you're all having a wonderful start to your summer. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a delicious day.